again with another video i mean as you guys know we are consistent if you're new here thank you for stopping by don't forget to hit that subscribe button trust me you're gonna love it here and if you're a returning subscriber then thank you for coming back so as you can tell from the title of this video today's video is a little bit more personal a little bit more deep i know it's deep but it's not that deep but it is deep so um <laughs> Guys, I'm not even gonna lie, I've literally been putting off doing this video for like the past three weeks. Like literally, for the past three weeks, every single day, I'll get this urge to like film this video, film this video, film this video. But then like another piece of me was like, no, but it's so personal, but like, you know, everybody's journey is different and stuff. Then um, today I realized that no man, the reason why I keep getting this urge is probably because I need to share my journey, I need to share my story because somewhere out there there is somebody who needs to hear this so if you're that person who needed to hear this i'm glad that you're here please catch your message please catch your sub so yeah without saying too much let's get into the video we're gonna talk about god we're gonna talk about god so um as you guys know i am christian i'm not christian because like anybody told me to be christian or because like my parents told me to be christian they did tell me to be christian growing up but then like you know how as you get older and you know you start living alone start making your own life choices you can choose which religion you want to participate in you can choose literally anything so i chose to still be christian because i felt like that resonated with me the most so i was like you know what i'm a christian girl by choice christian girl by act period but to be quite honest with you guys, like my relationship with God has just been, uh, it's been a little bit shaky over the years. <laughs> it's been a little bit shaky over the years. Like right now, as I'm filming this video, this is like the strongest my relationship with God has ever been. Like this is the best my relationship with God has ever been. Which is probably why I'm so comfortable with like talking about this topic and stuff. But yeah, a year ago, the story was quite different. A year ago, I was just like, whew, like, where is God when I'm going through all of these things? Like, why is God letting me go through these things? I don't deserve this. Like, as God's child, like, why am I? You get me? Like, that's literally, that's what I was going through, guys. Like, I was going through it. I was going through it. And, you know, I will just ask myself, like, what did I do to deserve these things? Like, why are these bad things happening to me? And then, Funny enough, guys, I randomly got the urge to watch, um, if you're South African and you like, like, telenovelas and stuff, you might know of it's Tunzi, right? So, um, I was just down bad, I was just, like, watching series, like, you know, being sad in my room, that kind of thing. And then there was this episode of it's Tunzi where, um, the lead character, Tusum Bedu, she was, like, having her monologue and stuff. And then she had some she said something that was so profound to me which like kind of it just like something in me clicked and it took me back to something that i had already known but then because i was just so down bad and because my faith was not that strong i had actually forgotten it so what she said was maybe i'm being prepared for a greater destiny that i don't know of yet and then i was just like hmm Maybe I'm being prepared for a greater destiny that I don't know of yet. And like, I sat in those words. Like, I literally marinated myself in those words. And then I started thinking to myself that, you know what? I'm busy, like, you know, turning my back on God. And I'm busy, like, you know, being weak about the situation when more than anything... All of this is probably happening for a reason. I know people say that things happen for a reason, but they actually really do, guys. They really do. And when you're down bad and like bad things are just happening to you, that's not something you want to hear. <laughs> if we're keeping it up back, when you are down bad, you don't want to hear anybody say, Oh, it's happening for a reason. Like, girl, shut up. <laughs> girl, shut up. But it really is, guys. Like, trust me. The good things, the bad things, everything is happening for a reason. And more times than not, the bad things are not actually bad things. It's just part of a bigger picture that you can't see yet. The only person who can see that bigger picture is God. 
So then it really just like shifted my perspective on a lot of things and um, I got into the mindset of, you know what, maybe I'm being prepared for a bigger destiny that I don't know of yet. Maybe all of these challenges and all of these like things that I'm going through are to strengthen me. They're there to strengthen me. And um, I kept on believing that. I kept on believing that. And as time went by, I started praying for strength over asking God, why is this happening to me? Like, why are you letting this happen to me? So, oh, but the other good thing that I'm actually proud of myself is that, like, um, the other times, like, when I was, like, you know, down bad, I used to, like, you know, turn my back on God and, like, no longer pray and no longer journal and no longer do those things. So, um, at least there was some growth. At least there was some growth in a way because um, I was still praying. I was still praying. It's just that my prayers were a little bit... <laughs> they just needed um, they needed some fine tuning. So yeah, um, I stopped asking God, why are you letting this happen to me? Why are these bad things happening? And I just started praying for strength. Strength to go through everything the way I'm supposed to go through. Strength that um, I come out a better person at the end. Strength to handle the situation the best way that I can. Strength to not fold but to become stronger. You know, that kind of thing. It sounds so funny, but guys, like when you pray for strength, you will get the strength, hey? Like, since I've been praying for strength, I've noticed that I deal with situations a lot better than I used to. Um, in general, like across all sports of my life, like, I am a lot stronger. I am able to handle things better. And most importantly, I'm resilient. Like in life, you need to be resilient. In life, you need to be stubborn. In life, you need to be... You know, and when you hit a roadblock and you feel like, hey, hey, you must pray for the strength to go through that roadblock. And another thing is that the best way to get through it is to go through it. And more than anything, guys, like you need to pray that you can have faith. You know how like in the Bible we talk about like if you can just have the faith of a mustard seed, you're gonna go far, that kind of thing. It's really so true, guys. And like even though um, I had said this before like so many times, people don't talk about how difficult it is to like keep your faith and to keep praying and to just, you know, keep believing even when things seem like they're just not going right, when things seem like they're getting worse instead of getting better. But then remember that like all you need is faith and remember that like even though it doesn't seem like it god does not forget a single utterance of your prayers it's either your prayer is going to be answered right away or it might be a little bit delayed because there's something better that's coming to you and i think that's also where the phrase delayed but not delayed comes from so with me, I've just started like adopting this mindset of like, if something doesn't come my way, like something that I really, really wanted, like whether it's like a campaign that I was really like gunning for or like literally anything, like if I was like literally, you know, trying to get that thing and I don't get it, I just tell myself that, you know what, you know what, there is something bigger and better coming my way. And guys, funny enough, I'm yet to be proven wrong. I am yet to be proven wrong wrong so quick story time quick story time quick story time <laughs> this is to like give you guys sort of like this is a testimony it's a testimony so um this was last year guys like there's this campaign that i really really wanted like you know but then towards the end they just stopped me and i was just like hey i was just like hey and i was also like okay, God, why are you letting them drop me? Like, you know how much I want this. You know how much I need this. And um, I had a sense that like, no, just wait. Just wait. So I kept on working on myself. I kept on working on my craft. And you guys won't believe, like a few months later, something even bigger than that campaign that I was standing for came up. And now I realized why God had made me wait. God made me wait so that he could prepare me for the bigger blessings that were awaiting me. And I felt like if I did not get denied that time, right, I would not have like dedicated so much time and so much effort into like improving myself and I would not have gotten 
the bigger campaign because obviously I would have been complacent. You know how like when you get something that you're like gunning for, you just end up becoming complacent. You end up just being like, mm. but guys, another thing, always be a student. Like in life, always be a student. Don't ever tell yourself that you know everything because you don't. Like always be willing to learn. Always be willing to improve yourself. Just always be on the hunt for the better version of yourself. And you also need to remember that life is about learning and unlearning and you know finding yourself along the way because like to be quite honest I don't think there's anybody in this entire world that has found themselves because finding yourself is it's a continuous process like literally you will find somebody who is like 65 who is still finding themselves like maybe randomly they'll discover that no actually i have this talent or actually i'm pretty good at this or actually i'm better at this than i am at this like it's a continuous process but what i will say is that when you find a version of yourself that you like try to stay true to that version try to like grow with that version obviously the version will change and adapt as time goes by but then the core of that version will remain and also if you're not happy with where you are or you just like feel like no man your core values you want to change that you're allowed to like guys you are literally allowed to reinvent yourself as many times as possible i kid you not like you can rebrand as many times as you want it's allowed it's a, it's your life it's allowed like do what makes you happy do it like don't care about what people are gonna say don't care about blah 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 because if you care about what people are gonna say you're gonna live your life for other people and that's a very sad way to live because like trust me you're not as important to other people as you think that you are the most important person to you should be you overall the one thing i want to leave you guys with is that you must always keep the faith always keep the faith even when things seem a little bit keep the faith because there's something bigger and better that's coming your way and another way to like keep the faith is to always look for the good so guys, this marks the end of the video. I hope that if this message was for you, that it came through and that it made sense. Because as I said, the way I felt an urge to like film this video, I feel like surely this video was made for certain people. So I hope that it found you and I hope that um, it clicked. The same way I had that, that light bulb moment when I heard those words of maybe i'm being prepared for a bigger destiny that i don't know of yet i hope that this video also gave you that you know that kick that you needed so yeah guys thank you so much for watching until next time this is it from the consistent queen bye